Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. Hope you're having as much fun with it as I am. So the first thing we're going to do today is talk a bit more about how you can move around the cube and change your views. So, so far you learned to press the mouse button, uh, the middle mouse button and rotate around the center of the grid and you learn how to zoom out, zoom in. And today we want to talk about pressing the shift button, shift key on your keyboard while you are pressing the middle mouse button. So what you can see is that you are panning the view. You are um, moving the grid up and down, left and right. So it's as if you're playing a 3D game and you're climbing up some stairs, moving up in the Y, uh, sorry, the Z coordinate or moving down or you're strafing left and right, sidestepping left and right. Okay, so that's what the shift mouse button does. Okay, and then if you press shift and you uh, scroll the middle mouse button uh, up and down, that's the same thing as pressing it up uh, and holding it and moving it up and down. Okay, it makes no difference. So I uh, hope you learned how to do this and this might um, give you a bit more control as to how you want to view the cube. And now let's talk a little bit of more about uh, faster ways of changing the view. So you can see right now I'm looking at the cube from the top. Okay, now if I want to change the view so I'm looking at the front of the cube, I would be moving down like this okay and there's quite a lot of moving around now a shortcut key is to press uh, the number pad key one and that brings you to the front of the cube straight away okay so you can see that if I move this up okay it is a bit more um, work uh, whereas if I just press one I get to here straight away. Now, what about if you press the number three on your number pad? So press three, you get to the right hand side of the cube. All right, so here is the Y axis. As you can see down on the bottom left hand side, it tells you the blue one is Z axis. The right is the Y axis. So this is the right hand view right side view and if you press 1 you get back to the front side if you press 3 you get to the right hand side and try now pressing 7 okay if you press 7 you are now at the top view so here is the y axis here is the x axis and you can also call this the bird's eye view if you like and you're looking at the cube from the top Okay, so one, three, and seven, front, right, and top view. They're pretty useful keys. Okay, so now using these different views, I'm going to change the shape of my objects, uh, well, rather scale my object to, uh, for example, a rectangular prism. Okay, so there are many ways you can do this, um, but uh, what we're going to do is just show you the quickest way of using the shortcut keys. So if you want to scale an object, the quickest way to do that is to press S. So press S, and then if you are moving your mouse cursor around, you will see that you can either make it bigger, or smaller okay so now we can make it bigger like this and now it's pretty big and if you rotate around you can see that it is now a pretty big cube okay and if you press S again and you drag the mouse towards the center a bit more and you can see that it is now a small cube again so if you want to know exactly how big it is, um, then what you would need to do is press the N key to bring up the object 
properties window so press N and then if you scroll up you can see that the scale of the object right now is 0 0.672 so that refers to the distance from the center to the edge of the object okay it's 0 0.672 so if you ref if you change this to 1 1 1 right you can see that um, the distance from the middle to the edge is again one unit okay so another way of changing the scale is if you remember the three arrows before that we were using to move the object around the screen okay so what we're going to do now is on the bottom of the screen we're going to change from this translate manipulator to the scale manipulator so the out of the three buttons the one on the right and if you click that one and then now you can use these blue red and green lines to scale your object in that direction okay in that axis so moving it along the z-axis scale it up and down moving it along the y-axis and so on so now we have a rectangular prism and it's sort of shaped like a computer case if you think about it maybe a bit shorter that's more like my computer okay and if you have a look at the scale now it's 2.85 along the x-axis so if you want to make it a bit easier to remember um, you can make it uh, let's go to 0 0 and 0 okay so the object is the center of it is in the center of my grid and you can see that the scale is 2.85 along the X so if you go back to the front view which is 1 you can see that from the middle to the right hand side is uh, 2.85 units so if you change this to 3 units you can see that from the middle to the edge is three units okay and let's go to the side view so press three okay you can see that along the y-axis is 1.1 so if you just change it to one okay just so it's nice and even and z-axis let's change it to 2.5 okay just so these numbers are nice and round if you want to keep the numbers nice and round use the um, use the object properties okay so I hope you guys learned a little bit more today about changing the views and scaling your objects see you guys next time